My husband painted our stove a while back. He didn't clear coat it because he wanted to make sure that painting it would work. We've now cooked on it countless times so we know the paint definitely works just fine on it. So now he's gonna finally clear coat it. So we only had duct tape so that's what we're gonna use some pink duct tape. I wouldn't recommend using that though. We added some iridescent glitter to the clear coat. Every time he paints something he always adds glitter to the clear coat. This is what it was looking like when it was all done. It is very glittery but for some reason it's not really showing up on the camera he bought these stickers on mercury and he thought it would be a great idea to add that to the stove he butchered them so bad though he also realized they were slightly different we got these on amazon because we painted over the labels on the stove we had to get those to stick them on and this is how it turned out so pretty and you guys it is very glittery but it's not showing up on the camera for some reason i'm obsessed with it and i'm so mad i didn't think of this sooner he's the one who thought of it and at the end of the day i'm just grateful he does these things for me i love it so much let's do a reset on my family room together i started off by just doing some vacuuming all over because these floors and these carpets really needed it i use my smaller vacuum for the regular floors and i like to use this bigger vacuum for like my bigger carpets it gets the job done but it's a struggle to use it i don't really like using brooms i feel like it take a lot longer i needed to switch out my pillows to my easter pillows so that's exactly what we did for everything to be pink is just such a vibe some people are like oh my gosh that's too much pink like there is never too much pink i need all the pink i don't even know what i was doing with the table i just like threw all my flowers on there and stuff like that whenever i'm using pink everything to clean oh my gosh you have no idea i'm so motivated honestly i never used to like cleaning it used to be so annoying and so boring now i have so much fun doing it this is what it was looking like when i was all done didn't i do such a great job like oh so cozy so calm i absolutely love it and now i can relax and watch mean girls i just got done cleaning and i'm so tired it's time for me to relax and watch a movie so let me show you guys how i prepare for that i'm gonna make my favorite drink in the whole world strawberry shake if you know you know this time i didn't make any ice so i didn't have any ice to put in there so we're using frozen strawberry as our ice i just did a restock on some strawberry ice cream so i'm also gonna add that i made this strawberry heavy cream yesterday because i made another shake yesterday so we're gonna add that to that as well i'm also gonna add some strawberry syrup to make it extremely sweet i like when it tastes like the mcdonald's shake i think by looking at this cup you can assume what movie i'm gonna watch so i added my shake to my mean girls tumbler because that's the movie we're watching today so i have this mean girls popcorn older from when i went to see the movie i'm gonna add these pink popcorn to it it's so good it's from home goods now we gotta set up the area that we're gonna be watching the movie in so i'm just gonna be relaxing on my couch so yeah watching movies in my family room is definitely a vibe i love it in here so much the curtain lights in the ceiling just makes it so dreamy and so magical the experience watching it on my couch was so much better bye we got mail now this is a package i've been waiting for for a long time every time i've tried to buy it it was always out of stock and finally it was in stock so i bought it immediately it is this pink hair fryer how cute is it you guys i will say though i'm definitely gonna spray paint the gold parts of it into like a bubblegum pink to match my house i mean they do have it in light pink but that just wasn't what i was going for i wanted something that like really matches my microwave you know anyways this baby right here it does everything and i am so excited to use it i think the first thing i'm gonna try with it is like making like a pink pizza because my daughter's been wanting a pink pizza so i think i'm gonna make that like tomorrow i'm putting this together but really i'm not reading the instructions so i don't even know if this is how you put it together my husband will have to read the instructions and fix it the way it's supposed to be fixed because 
reading instructions are not my strong suit and they come with this pink book in this menu book oh bye my daughter wants pink pizza for lunch and that's exactly what we're gonna make today some of the footage got deleted so we're gonna work from here it was a struggle to make this dough but once i got it done i basically left it to rest for like an hour and a half i've never made pizza from scratch before but when my daughter said she wanted it of course i was gonna try it i love a good pink challenge to make the dough pink i used dragon fruit powder and this pizza dough it was way too big so i had to cut it into like three different pieces so i think i'm gonna use one of the pieces to make like bread or something after a while of playing with it it finally started to look like a circle i then put it on my pizza tray and started adding on all the toppings of the i used the pizza sauce that i got from aldi and then i added my pink cheese a duh because uh, it's gotta be pink cheese if we're making a pink pizza duh and because it was saint patrick's weekend i did a little drizzle of italian herb because yeah we we needed a little bit of green okay mm -hmm. this point ain't nobody in this world could tell me i wasn't a chef okay i'll be using my new hair fryer that i got on amazon honestly i still haven't read the instructions so we're gonna wing it this was our last batch of pink cheese and i know you guys have been asking how my husband makes it so as soon as he's making a new batch i'll film it so you guys will get to see exactly how he does it i really pushed myself out of my comfort zone for this pizza trying a new thing and this is what it comes out looking like what do you guys think isn't it so pretty i cut into it so you guys can see what it looks like look at that isn't she gorgeous oh love it and i took a bite with you guys because you know how we do it around here it's so good i'm definitely gonna make this again but i think it was more like of a cheesy bread but it was still good nevertheless i'm proud of myself for this one bye pink french toast is exactly what i'm making today i've been really craving it so we're gonna make it i've never made french toast before but i looked it up on the internet and it seemed pretty easy so we're gonna try it so i grabbed my eggs and my milk i made pink bread from leftover pizza dough to add extra pink to my french toast i'm gonna use dragon fruit powder so the recipe says eggs it didn't say how many so i'm gonna do like three eggs i'm gonna add another one later down the line i added my dragon fruit powder some milk and also my cinnamon it also says add sugar to the mixtures and vanilla extracts so we're gonna use some vanilla and some pink sugar now i'm just simply just moving stuff around so i can finally get it started at this point i'm really feeling good about this because i mean how can you mess it up it looks so easy so it says dip your bread in there don't sink it in too far and then get your pan buttered so i did and it's looking so good so far i didn't know when to flip it and i'm not good at flipping i added some cinnamon to my pink sugar and dipped that in there and these were the first set they're a bit burnt i was crying at this point but i decided not to give up so i keep going and this is what the second ones were looking like and then i dipped those and oh my gosh you guys it came out so great so i was on a roll here this is what all six of them look like when i was done then i added on my dragon fruit cool whip and some strawberries i mean look at this beauty i really outdid myself i am so proud of me like ugh. once i got my kids theirs i then put some syrup on mine and added some strawberry whipped cream and this is what it was looking like and then i took a bite with you guys i mean i don't want to toot my own horn but i'm gonna toot it and i'm gonna say ah this is the best french toast i've ever had in my entire life like so good bye let's get some chores done just another laundry day i like doing the laundry but i don't like actually folding them okay y'all have been asking where's my washer and dryer from it's just some random basic washer and dryer that my husband spray painted pink and added glitter to i mean that's what he does best whenever things doesn't come pink he just spray paints them and add glitter to them now we're doing dishes because i have so many dishes that needed to be washed usually my husband is in in charge of the kitchen i don't usually wash the dishes or anything like that so if you see me put something in there weird it's not my fault i don't do this often i learned the hard way not to put cast iron in here i ruined one of my favorite pink cast iron pans a lot of people assume that i cook pink food every single day of the week i do not it's usually once or twice a week some week i actually do blue foods because my son really likes blue so he asked for blue food and so i make 
naked form as well. I just choose not to share it. I learn something new every week. So like whatever my kids ask for, that's exactly what they get. Before they used to be super picky. I could not get them to eat. And so then I started making their food colorful. Once that happened, I started giving them regular food and they finally started to eat. I made myself some toast with some strawberry cream cheese. And then I added some strawberry syrup to my milk to make it strawberry milk and then I added some strawberry whipped cream I took a bite with you guys I live and breathe for my kids so whatever you see me eat inside this house it's something that they suggested and so I made it so they'd eat it and so far it works just a disclaimer if you don't like pink food and you don't like pink content just keep scrolling there's no need to stick around and be bitter hopefully that got rid of the trolls now pinkies what's going on come make dinner with me tonight yeah tonight we're having pasta and meatballs and not just any pasta we're having pink pasta i made it with dragon fruit powder hey i didn't want to bore you guys with the details so i skipped a couple steps how cute is this pasta and i made some corn stew and look at the meatballs tell me they're not meatballing okay so now that i showed you guys dinner what do you say we played it together so i got my pink plate because you can't do it without a pink plate you need a pink plate for your pink pasta dinner honestly i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i did have some broccoli as well i just didn't show it in the video because it ruins my aesthetic for every meal that we make i always pair it with avocado or broccoli it's just too green for the video okay and now because we're having a pink meal of course we're gonna have my favorite drink with it did you guess yup some dragon fruit lemonade putting it in a cup without pink ice was just too basic so of course we added pink ice and and this is what it looks like when it was all done. Pinkies, you don't even have to ask. You're invited to dinner, so come on over. 